Good morning, everyone. Yesterday, I made some monkey bread. So I thought I would walk you through the process of making monkey bread from scratch. Now, hopefully you have all the ingredients. You'll need milk, oil, salt, sugar, sifted flour, and instant rice yeast. You'll also need butter and cinnamon sugar to roll the dough in. Before getting started, make sure you wash your hands. The first thing I'm gonna do is take my cup of milk and I'm gonna warm it in the microwave for just under one minute. Now that your milk is warm, put it in your pan. You can mix this up by hand. Uh, I add a little bit of salt. I use my teeny tiny little measuring cup. This is an eighth of a teaspoon, but sometimes I just crank it, put the salt in and be done with it. Oil. Butter, you can use melted butter, you can use oil, you can use coconut oil. Um, I'm just using my olive oil. And I probably put about two tablespoons. Mom always taught me, don't leave a mess, clean up as you go. I do three more ingredients. I add a little bit of sugar, flour, and your yeast. One and a half tablespoons of sugar. And I like to do a little bit of sifting of my flour and I just use this little sifter to that. And all I do is lightly without making a mess. So I have approximately two cups of flour. I go ahead and put that in. This is a rapid rise yeast. It's an instant yeast. So it makes the process of bread making a little bit faster. And let me show you what the ingredients look like. There's the ingredients all together. So what you do is you put the yeast on top, all the wet ingredients on the bottom, the flour kind of goes in between. After looking at the ingredients in the bowl, I start to mix. I could mix this up in just a regular bowl. Another thing you can do to beat your dough is you can use a mixer, the large mixing bowl, and this particular handle is what you would use for bread dough. You'll want to mix your bread or, and start to knead your bread for about 10 minutes then let it set for 10 minutes if you're using the instant rapid rise yeast. If you can stick your finger in it and it doesn't stick to your finger, it's about the right consistency. If your bread dough is crumbly, then there was too much flour, you wanna add a little bit more water. If it's too wet and it sticks to your finger at this point, then you'll want a little bit of flour on top. What you need to do while the dough is mixing is find some butter. Now this is salted butter and this is unsalted butter. So I'm gonna use unsalted butter. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put my butter in the microwave. I'm gonna use this paper, the butter side down, to butter my pan so the bread doesn't stay. Now that my pan's nice and buttered, it's ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and make up my oops, cinnamon sugar. So cinnamon and sugar. Those are the two ingredients you're gonna use. I'm gonna put one tablespoon of cinnamon and then I need about a half cup of the sugar. Yeah, it's probably about a cup. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. Cinnamon sugar, it's a little light, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that. And I'm gonna get my butter out of the microwave and dump my bread on top of my cutting board. Anything you warm up in the microwave, be careful getting it out and bringing it down so it doesn't spill. My dough is ready to go. I hope your dough is also. So before I get my dough out, I want to lightly sprinkle some flour. I'm just gonna cover it lightly in flour, pat it down, and then you cut it into small pieces or you could tear pieces off. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and dip it in the butter, place it in the cinnamon, do butter first and then the cinnamon. So let's see how that works. Okay, at the end what I do is I go ahead and take the butter and put the rest of the butter on top. Once you have everything set, let the dough rise for approximately 20 minutes before baking. While your dough is rising, preheat the oven to 350. 
place it in the oven for approximately 20 minutes. Check and see if it's done. Pull it out and enjoy. Now that your monkey bread is done baking, take it out and set it on top of the oven. Let it cool. I like to take mine and flip it over. Release it from the pan and serve. Enjoy.